Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about Asus VivoBook Ultra 15. So without wasting time, let's begin this video. So first we will talk about its design. This laptop comes with 3 colors. Bespoke black, creamy white, co-black blue and a yellow border on the entry key looks amazing when we open the lid. Laptop body is built with premium plastic material, it won't feel cheap material, at this price it is good, no doubt in that. And next its display, Asus Call Thin Bezel Nano LCD display comes with 15.16 inch Full HD display. We can also say 39.62 cm, 85% screen to body ratio and 178 wide angle view and it have anti-clear panel which won't reflect on ice. It have 60Hz display only. At this price point, we can expect this much only. Next, its body weight. Asus claim that 1.7 kg its body weight and up to 17.9 mm thin. Look like justified. And next, its processor. It comes with AMD Ryzen 5 4500U processor. Clock speed have 2.3 GHz up to 4 GHz can be overclocked which comes 6 cores and 6 thread. It graphic is integrated AMD Radeon RX Vega 6 graphics. So who didn't understand, I will say in a simple way that it's a great mid-range processor by AMD. Let's talk about its memory. This laptop have 8 GB dual channel RAM with 3200 MHz. It can be upgradable up to 12 GB RAM and storage having 512 NVMe SSD and one slot for more storage expansion. Its operating system is preloaded Windows 10 Home with lifetime validity. Its battery have 3 cell 42 hours lithium polymer battery. Asus claim up to 6 hours battery life and it have full size backlit keyboard with number keys and key travel distance is 1.4 mm not bad and next io ports comes with one hdmi port and one 3.5 mm jack with audio in and audio out two usb 2.0 one usb 3.1 type a and one usb 3.1 type c and one micro sd card reader that's fine, all basic IO ports are there. And next, it's sound, which having two stereo speaker with one analog microphone by Harman Kardon. This laptop comes with fingerprint scanner or you can say fingerprint reader. It has 720p webcam, so we can't expect full HD web camera. And lastly, it comes with Bluetooth 5.0 and Wi-Fi 6 and Wi-Fi 5 and also fast charging. So let's talk about its pros and cons. Since one month I am using this laptop for editing videos and gaming. So pretty well I have tested it. First talk about its cons. Number one, its brightness. In indoor it's fine, but in outdoor condition it will not sufficient brightness level. Number two, its battery. Asus claim up to six hours battery backup it will give. But it will give up to 4 to 5 hours only. It is decent, not huge battery backup or low battery backup. Number 3, its performance. Although it's a great mid range processor, when I am using HitFilm Express for 1080p editing the videos, I will see some lag while editing. And next, talk about its pros. First, its display. Although in outdoor condition, brightness level is not sufficient but the colors are great and for entertainment it's good. Number 2, it's heating issue. As compared to other laptops, this laptop have less heating issue. While editing videos, it will warm little bit but not overheat much. While gaming, it will heat up little bit when I play for long time. And number 3, it's backlit keyboard. And net it will help lot and looks amazing to type. And number 4, it's fast charging. In this laptop, power adapter comes with 45 watt output. It will charge faster as compared to other laptops. Hope you like this video. Check my another gaming channel. 
comment down your thoughts subscribe for more videos thank you for watching